This weekend in St. Louis, Wizard World is here with St. Louis Comic Con, so we invited Salacious Crumb to join us today. Salacious uh, yes. Crumb? Salacious uh, Crumb himself. Oh, yes. Is that your character? That's uh, my one of many, Joy. Oh, well, no, one. I know. I know you're famous. St. Louis's own Mark Dodson. Yes. yes. Smokey. Mark Dodson. We all you guys know, know me Smokey. as Smokey. Yes. St. Louis knows me as Smokey from my radio. From I was on 55 Country, KUSA. Wow. In the late 80s. What was your last Smokey name? Smokey Dodson. Just Smokey Dodson? Yeah. Because, you know, there's a lot of Smokies in, yeah. the, in the world. And we were you the first? But there's only were one salacious crime. No, joy. I Smokey Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> so been. you're famous, and you're like internationally or world-renowned uh, with the characters. And you, you do travel around the world still based on your Star Wars character on Gremlins, right? Yes. You did Gremlins? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, the, the fans for the Comic-Cons. They love, you know, the, a lot of the shows, a lot of the, um, like, Doctor Who is real big right now, and Firefly, and, uh, but the Gremlins, and of course Star Wars, has remained a kind of a yeah. cult. So does everybody Classic. make you do the voices? <laughs> yes, the <laughs> salacious wonderful. crumb, they always, and some will just, some will come right out and say, do it. Yeah, of course. They wouldn't yeah, say the yeah. voice. They'll just say, me. do it. Yeah, and you, uh, yeah, you do they go, it. oh. Yeah. Then, yeah, that then you is, held yeah. your hand up for the tip. Yeah, and they say, where's my money? <laughs> People that don't know, there was in uh, episode six, Return of the Jedi, um, 1983, uh, Jabba the Hutt, the big throne room. This is the storyline. The big throne room mm -hmm. with Jabba, big woo -hoo 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 Jabba. Yeah, right. And then there was the little guy that sat with Jabba and, ah, and cackled yeah. and laughed. Uh, the comic relief, I guess. For yeah, that. and Jabba liked that. And Jabba yeah. liked it. Well, yeah, that so. was Salacious Crumb, and that was his job, yes. was to make Jabba oh, laugh yeah. once a day. Oh. See, this is the backstory that the fans told me. Oh. <laughs> uh, seriously. This yeah, is, really. Seriously. They know I'm a little too into yeah. it. I learned more about things I've done from the fans than I knew. That's and it. yeah, yeah they're we great. were just talking about that. I it's did a, a Transformers one voice, which I don't even remember. And then I get these letters from, from all, all over the world saying, "Can I have yeah. your autograph?" And it's like, "What? what There's are the, a world who are, out there." Was this always the way, or is it just this now? This groundswell of young people, old people. Who are these people? Okay, it's all ages. Um, it's kids with their dads and their yeah. grandparents. And um, it's all ages. This started, the Comic-Con thing started, I believe, in the 70s. And they were really more just comic book conventions. Yeah, but it's expanded. And now it's grown into a pop culture phenomenon. Yeah. I mean, really, these things And as you pointed out, huge. you go to Wizard World yourself for the fans. Because the fans all dress up, and it's just really a cool thing to see. It is so much fun. I always say, you know, if nothing else, go to a Comic-Con just to see the fans. Because they dress up. It's called cosplay, which is costume play. So they, they dress up, and then they kind of stay in character. Yes. You know? <laughs> so, you know, you'll have Batman running around, and, you know, and the guy that's dressed it, and he's acting like Batman, you know? And they don't come out of character. Um, so it's fun. Yeah, I the was in Atlanta once, fun. and they, they were having one, and you saw all these people on the street dressed like this. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and how do you Atlanta. know? That, do they invite you, or do you just hear about it and go? Or they invite me, and I have a, a um, an appearance agent, ah. uh, Zach McGinnis. How about an that? An agent for yeah. this. Yes. yes. Now, how did you meet George Lucas? How did that happen? Yeah, how did oh you even God. get on Star Wars? Were you in Los Angeles? That or was, were you here? I went to L.A. in 78, uh -huh. right out of high school. Mm-hmm. I wanted to work behind the scenes. Um, ended up with Lucasfilm in Los Angeles through a friend, and it just started, and then they were moving up to Marin County. And I was about to lose my job. They didn't need any uh, production people up there. And ILM, Industrial Light and Magic, was already there and had their people, and Sprocket Sound, Ben Burt, those people were all there. And I said, I'll do anything just to stay with the company. They said, well, we're building Skywalker Ranch, and you know they're looking for would laborers and cows? carpenters. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I would have built the yeah. cows. I was going to do whatever it took to. I said, yeah, I'll go up and be a laborer if, when something opens up in production, they bring smart, me in smart, and I'll yeah. be there. And um, while I was laboring and being a carpenter, helping to build Skywalker Ranch, they were looking for voices for Return of the Jedi. And I said, oh, I've always played around with voices. Let me try something. Next thing I knew, I was salacious. Crumb. Well, I was wow. going to ask you that. And then you it that. just 
it's snow ever because since. then gremlins yes. since you've been. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and then gremlins, well, yeah. and then gremlins uh, happened because the monster makers that made Salacious, uh, Tony McVeigh sculpted Salacious, and and Chris Wallace was the uh, one that cast him and painted him, and you know they made him together. You made a short. Based on they went, Salacious Crumb recently, didn't you? Did I? Yeah, you did. <laughs> no? Get in See, here, I'm a fan now. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Somebody okay. might have. The IMDB People. says you you uh, you voiced, you were an uncredited voice on a short called Salacious Crumb. Yeah, I probably was. Maybe they was. used old uh, footage. They, they probably was. Well, yeah. I get, I'm uncredited for Return of the Jedi. I did that voice about three weeks before the movie was released. That was the one of the last things that Ben was doing. Uh, was it all was the credits the, you know, were already the done. The post, yeah. and it, that was done. I wasn't union <laughs> at the time. <laughs> great way to start, though. So, you should great be working for Disney if you're not union. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be fine. But then you yeah. develop character voices, too. And do you do it? And a, then I started, yeah. Developing. Do you just go in and try to like come up with something, or do you have like a, already a reserve of some types of voices you, you have a reserve, and you draw from uh, things. Um, you know, you you do impersonations. You work on people that I like. You know, um, like I just did a. I do a lot of video game voices almost every that's, week. That's the the business. Well, that's now, it, isn't it now. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot of voices. Uh, well, let, what do you, what when you did Gremlins? Did you come up with that, or they? Are you mimicking what they already did? Or? No, Gremlins came because the guys uh, Tony and Chris went over with Spielberg to do Gremlins. And while they were working on Gremlins, they were in a production meeting and they were asked, who did the voice of that little guy with Jabba? How about That's that? That's what everybody knew him. Nobody knew his yeah. name. Mm-hmm. And the, oh, they said, it was oh, that was Mark Dodson. Well, if you notice, Salacious and the Gremlins look a lot alike. They have the ears and the, yeah. they kind of, what's well, the same monster makers? So they said, oh yeah, that's Mark Dodson. And they were asked, well, you know how to get a hold of him? And he said, yeah, he's working up in Marin County on the ranch. <laughs> building ranches. He's, building he's on the, the roof he's, right he's, now. He's, he's, yeah, I probably was. And, um, and I got a call from these guys. And, they, and when they told me that, they, that I was requested, because they said, well, we think the gremlin should have that sound. And I thought it would, I thought they were kidding. I was like, "Oh, you're so full of," you know. When they yeah. called me, I'm like, "Yeah, yeah right." <laughs> they said, "No, really, they want you to come do the Gremlins." I said, "I can't afford to come down there." <laughs> <laughs> and they said, "It's a Spielberg movie. They'll pay for I'll you to there, come yeah. down." Yeah. I said, "Oh, wow. okay. Well, I'll be there." Yeah. So next thing I know, it's the Gremlins. How about that? And then story. why? When did you move back to St. Louis, and why? If you had all this stuff going on in California, I moved back to St. Louis in '93. Um, Honestly, because everybody moves back. Yeah, I miss St. Louis. <laughs> right. I missed but, the seasons. Right. You, I remember yeah. after from a few now, years right. at Christmas, I'd always be like, "Oh yeah, L.A." It's but this exactly. isn't Christmas. You yeah. can do what you do anywhere now. And right? now, and at that point, now you can do it yeah. from anywhere. Yeah. Um, voiceover people, we all have a studio in our home. We do a lot of sessions over Skype now, where they Amazing. direct us over Skype. Yeah. You know, and um, you can do it from anywhere. Where will oh. we find you at Wizard World? How how will your fans find? I you? don't know. I'll be in a booth. Okay. With a, 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 with or at a table with a lot of people around. <laughs> lot of other, you'll all be in line for um, Cassandra, right? That, oh yeah, actually, that's where you'll probably find me is in line trying to get an autograph from Elvira. Cassandra, Cassandra <laughs> yeah. Peterson. Oh Elvira, I love Elvira. Uh. The, the list, by the way, really? yeah. yeah. The <laughs> list. I always like goth. The list of yeah. guests yeah. is just immense for this thing this weekend at America Center, Who's Friday, there? Saturday, and Sunday. You're supposed to tell us. Oh, give us this, and you know, you know most of these people who will be there. I do know Honest Tales. Yeah, Elvira will yeah, be there. Elvira, Honest, Honest Tales. Honest Tales. Tom Stockman will be there. Tom Stockman will, will be, be there. there. He's a okay. great guy. He's St. Louis with, cele- guy. with tenacious eats. So it'll yes. be tenacious eats and salacious crumb. In the yeah. same building. Yeah. 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 Yeah, really. Anyway, keep, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> who else is um, in there? Let's see. George Romero, who I actually did Day of the Dead with George Romero. And I haven't seen him since we did that movie, and he won't remember me. But I remember him. <laughs> I so I'm going to try to say hi to him. That's good. Uh, George Romero, who did the zombie, father of the zombie movies, basically. Um, let's see. Naomi Grossman, who is Pepper from American Horror Story. The little okay, she doesn't look anything like that. You won't recognize her out of makeup. She's really a nice uh, person to hang out with. And um, 
Oh my God! There's going to well, be so many. You can go, go to wizardworld.com. Wizardworld.com. Right, right there on the top line, you'll see St. Louis. Just click on St. Right. Louis. You'll see this immense list. It'll tell you the hours, the days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this holiday week. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. At America Center. At America Center. And and the people who are not dressed in costume are the the stars of the show. They're the ones. <laughs> yeah, the ones <laughs> counting the money. <laughs> but the but you got to see the ones dressed in costume. These people go all out. I know. I, it is impressive. Most impressive. Mark, it's always fun to see you. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Good to see you, Mark. Thanks, Joy. And thanks to Abusi Michelli Insurance, continuously working to provide the individual coverage you require. They also handle commercial life and health insurance. Call Tina Michelli at 314-832-6667. 